Hello and welcome to this video about Ultima add-ons. This video isn't sponsored but I just wanted to share my experiences with you guys on the Ultima add-on products and what benefit they have had to me. So when I bought this bike, this is a Kawasaki Z1000SX, when I purchased it I came across a real problem and that was that there was no obvious way to mount my phone onto the bike to use it for a sat nav or other purposes like that. And then I came across a company called Ultimate Add-ons and I'll pop their website link down in the description below this video. So Ultima Add-ons are a company uh, based in the UK that specialise in phone cases, phone mounts and various other action camera kind of mounts and accessories in relation to motorcycles and other various kind of hobbies. So I'm going to show you what I went for and what it looks like when fitting on, fitted onto my bike and um, on the Ultima Add-ons website they've got lots and lots of other cases for almost every mobile phone out today and as some kind of solution that will work on your bike. So this is the solution that I ended up going with uh, from Ultima Add-ons. So there's two parts to this uh, little device really. Uh, you've got this 3 inch 25mm ball extender. Okay, One end of which mounts onto my uh, mount here which I bought from a different company and I'll pop that link down in the description below. And then the other end screws on to the connector. And this is the connector where your phone uh, case plugs in and you have to buy the accessories separate so you can buy uh, whichever accessories you need for your bike and they do various other things as well for example where if you have the mirrors that come off the handlebars uh, you can unscrew the mirrors and put in a mount there and then you could have bar end mirrors there's various other configurations and various other ways that you can mount uh, your phone to your bike because initially I just couldn't see a way with this and then I went online came across ultimate add-ons and came across this great solution so let me show you how this goes together and how you would uh, show you the case and how you get it on then we'll go for a little ride and see what it's like so what I've gone for then is a case looks like this this is a fully waterproof case um, it's got clips around the edge that remind me of the GoPro cases if you've got an experience with them you'll know what I mean and it's got the three pin style clip on um, adapter on the rear which is very very easy to put on and remove on the mount on the bike so this can just come off and then um, it simply just clips on as and when you need it now what's good about it is the screen here you can still use your phone through the screen and even the uh, touch ID still works as well this is iPhone I'm talking about on the bottom it's also got waterproof connections uh, waterproof gaps sorry um, for wires cables charging these headphones etc to go through so to pop it in simply remove all the clips and you do have to remove your um, existing case so if you do have a case on your phone you do need to remove that the phone sits in there and it fits in there really really snug close the lid snap it shut And there you have it. Your phone is now in a fully waterproof sealed case, but the good thing is, as I say, you can still use all the buttons and um, open up the phone and do anything. It won't work with gloves on, which is pretty consistent really with any kind of case. Um, what you could potentially get though is a little stylus and I have seen these gloves with little stylus on the end so then you can operate it through there but for me it's not really been an issue you just set the sat nav up before you start going and then you know it's sorted then isn't it so to mount it on the bike it's really very easy uh, we just take the case make sure it's the correct way round and it goes on just like that very very easy and to remove again squeeze the button unclip and then there it is and when it's on there I find that it is very sturdy doesn't move around too much even at faster speeds and gives you a nice view uh, from the cockpit onto your phone okay so we're on the bike now then let's see how it is like I said I've been really pleased with it uh, this case has helped me uh, navigate to lots of places you know some long trips as well um, there's barely any screen glare um, although I must admit I did start looking up at one point 
uh, for anti-glare screen protectors because when the sun is behind you and the sun's to the right of me at the moment when the sun is directly behind you it can sometimes be a little bit difficult to see the screen that would be my only point of criticism it wobbles around a little bit but not much i have seen online a couple of people say that after a while it's got more wobbly in regards to the actual uh, pins on the case have got more wobbly but that's not something i've experienced at the moment and it's probably done a couple of thousand miles on the bike um, but it's really good i had looked obviously at you know full-on motorcycle motorcycle sat nav options um, but they all tend to be very expensive uh, you know it's like the tom tom motorbike sat nav a new one it's you know like over 300 pounds and for me when i need to use a sat nav it's not that frequently so i couldn't really justify spending that sort of amount of money um, on something that isn't going to be used that much but having this it means that you know i can just use my phone which obviously i've got anyway uh, with my favorite uh, app which is google app uh, google maps and it's absolutely fine i see no um disadvantage of doing it and the fact that you can still use the phone with it in the case is really really good some of the cheaper alternatives i'd looked at not only would they not fit onto the ram mount but it also meant that you'd have to remove the phone every time so i hope you found that video useful uh, like i say wasn't sponsored i just wanted to share my experience and share how i solved an issue on a bike that i thought initially was pretty impossible to mount anything to but i've been really happy with it and as you can see from the gopro footage there it's positioned perfectly for me and very very easy to use you could even if you wanted to leave your phone in that case although my only negative point would be is that the case is relatively big but then i do appreciate that the iphone 6 plus isn't the uh, 8 plus rather isn't the smallest phone in the world but that just depends i guess what phone you've got but there's lots of protection on that case pretty sturdy seems good okay thanks very much for watching if you have any alternatives please feel free to post your comments and ideas down in the comment section below i'll be very interested to read them if you haven't subscribed please do please leave a thumbs up and i'll catch you in the next video